up where the planets do the hula. Spin and shout till you find yourself on Zula. Let's take off, we're all ready to roll. It's fun to learn with the Zula Patrol. Wake up, Gorga, it's time to play. Come on, Captain Bula, let's welcome the day. Where's that cedar? Ready to go. Wizzy and Wig are good to glow. Speakers bubbling, turning blue. Motos making something new. Way, way out where the planets do the hula. Spin and shout till you find yourself on Zula. See your round balls and mission control. It's fun to learn with the Zula Patrol. Way, way out where the planets do the hula. Spin and shout till you find yourself on Zula. See your round balls and mission control. It's fun to learn with the Zula Patrol. Space. It's a great place to play Ring Around the Planets. Of course, you can't play it with every planet, because not all of them have rings. And, but I have a nice personality, and I'm a wonderful dancer. The story you are about to see is completely made up. Only the science facts are true. This is The Case of the Missing Rings. Our story begins at Jupiter. Help! Help! My rings are gone! My planetary rings! I've been robbed! Calling Zula Patrol! Calling Zula Patrol! Come in, Zula Patrol! This is the Zula Patrol. When there's trouble in the galaxy, we go to work. My partner's name is Zeter. The really smart one is Multo. The flying light bulbs are Wizzy and Wig. The short green guy with the jumbo honker is Gorga. And me? The name's Bula. We were working the orbital shift when the call came in. It was a code 151-4. Missing rings. Keep it moving, folks. Nothing to see here. Wow, look at that. Oh. So, you say you were taking a nap. That's right. And when I woke up, my rings were gone. <laughs> Can you describe them? Well... They are mostly dust. Dust, huh? Yes, dust. Some planets have rocks and ice in their rings, but that's not my style. Here, uh, maybe this will help. This was taken at the last planetary pajama party. <laughs> we were all having such a great time playing in the tail of the Glupazoid. <laughs> Just the ring facts, please. <laughs> Sorry. Did you get all that, sketch artist? <gasps> yes. Yes, that's them! Exactly! My beautiful ring! This case just became personal. We decided to see what the Multipedia could tell us about rings. Huh? Oh, sorry! Huh? Wrong uh. page! These are gymnastic rings! Bells that ring! Here we are! Planetary rings. Rings are circles of ice, dust, and rocks that surround planets. But not all planets have them. In the solar system, the four giant gas planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, have rings. And the other known planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and Pluto, don't have rings. Some rings are quite spectacular. But if we examine them closely, we'd see that Jupiter's rings are mostly dust. <laughs> Uranus and Neptune have rings that are dust and rock. While Saturn has the most spectacular rings of all. They're not only dust and rock, but have several different kinds of ice. But while we were busy learning about rings, <laughs> another planet's rings were being stolen. Zeter and I interviewed the latest victim, Neptune. But we didn't get any answers, just more questions. Do you think the thefts are related? There's one way to find out. Solve the crime. We decided to question anyone who might have a reason to steal them. Starting with the planets that didn't have rings. Maybe this was a simple case of jealousy. We started with Pluto. 
I was in my orbit the whole time. I never left. Ask Sharon, my moon. We were getting nowhere fast. That's when the ring wrestler struck again. This time it was Uranus. With the planets all in the clear, Malta reviewed the mugshot files for possible suspects. Clarence, the Iceman Comet. Blackie, the Hole. Dark, the secretly scheming Truder. And Muggsy Meteor. Yeah, sure I flew through Uranus's rings. Who doesn't? But they was there when I left, see? Nice story, Muggsy. Why don't you put a ribbon on it and save it for my birthday? Okay, okay, I did see something, see? Just as I was leaving, this spaceship comes by, see? Shining this big light. It looked like one of them portable ring rustler rays or something. That's all I know. Honest. The old ring rustler ray racket. That explains a lot. And I found something interesting on the computer. Someone just bought a planetary ring masher. The address on the receipt is asteroid 263. The home of Mr. I am guilty. There just might be a connection. Let's pay a visit to Mr. Guilty on asteroid 263. Here it is, the magnificent setting for my future headquarters. This floating rock? Soon I'll have built a monument to myself, a real standout among baddie buildings. And what could be more magnificent than to build it out of the spectacular material of planetary rings? So that's what we're stealing the rings for? Yes! Plus, my fortress will have extra protection if it's made out of those rings. So they're made of something really special, huh? They must be. Just look at them. You mean you don't know? Hmm. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, we've got visitors. Time for Operation Undercover. Are you Mr. I am guilty? I am guilty, yeah. Semi-professional bowler. Huh. We'd like to talk to you about your planetary ring masher. Planetary ring masher? The one you're standing next to. Oh, that. Oh, yeah. Well, that's uh, a towel rack. Towel rack? Yikes! Oh, oopsie. Your toupee just spoke. No, that, uh, that was me. I'm a, a ventriloquist, see? Hi, I'm Zazzy, the ice cracking bowling hand. Your lips are moving. That's the semi-professional part. You're a semi-professional bowler slash ventriloquist with a fake German accent living alone on an asteroid? Isn't everyone? We questioned Mr. I Am Guilty for over an hour. For every question, he had an answer. Did he seem suspicious? In his job, clothing, and hairpiece choices, yes. But in our galaxy, a citizen is innocent until proven guilty. With no evidence to go on, I decided to play a hunch. That meant it was time for a stakeout near Saturn. Saturn still had its rings. <laughs> I don't see them. Oh, they're there, but not for long. Huh? Zulu Patrol, this is Planet Venus. Hell, ah! it's that awful yet sneakily handsome scoundrel. He's making off with my rings. I need your help before, before. Ah! Oh, Zeter and I went to check it out. We thought we'd staked out the wrong planet. Then we remembered, Venus isn't a gas planet. It's a rocky one. That means Venus doesn't have rings. The distress call was a trick. And we'd fallen for it like an apple from a tree. And while we were gone, Saturn's rings were stolen. Now that all the rings are mine, I have the ingredients I need to build my empire headquarters! <laughs> The ring wrestler may have gotten away, but this time, he left a clue. <gasps> a single strand of hair with a barrette. Just like Mr. Guilty's toupee. This ties him to the crime scene. Time to wrap up this case. This is a job for the Zula Patrol. He's around here somewhere. There he is. This is the Zula Patrol.
control. Put your hands and toupee up. You're too late, Zula Patrol! <laughs> Dark Truder. I should have known. You! <laughs> huh. Let's see you get through that! What? It's like these rings are just plain dust! Come on, Einstein. Scram! <laughs> The rings! We wanted to catch Dark Truder, but we knew our number one job was to save the rings. Thanks to the persistence of the Zula Patrol, the planets and their rings were happily reunited. The case was closed. And the suspects, Dark Truder and Traxy, were put on Zula's very much wanted list. The story you have just seen was really, really good. <laughs> I loved every minute of it. Welcome to our Molto Moment. Come in. Today we learned about planetary rings. In the solar system, the four giant gas planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, have rings. And the other known planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and Pluto, don't have rings. Do you remember what the rings are made of? Onions! Not exactly. I'll give you a hint. Frozen water, the stuff Tessie is cleaning up, and hard things you find on the ground. <laughs> That's right, ice, dust, and rocks, hey. just like we have here. Hey, let's make our own ring. Yes. Oh. Uh, hmm. Did we make a ring? <laughs> Not quite. So, what do we make? The scientific term for this is a mess. <laughs> we'll see you again soon. <laughs>